What's going on guys? Seha Man back with another DC Collectibles or DC Direct figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DC. Uh, this is the this is the DC Comics. It's based off the New 52 by Jim Lee, um, the Justice League. We're going to be taking a look at the Dark Side Deluxe figure. Uh, this figure was just released today, and uh, it's quite a big figure. I mean, it's it's the same box that you get, like kind of like the Deluxe Titan Joker. That same style, and it's of course the same style of, as the uh, other DC Direct uh, or DC Collectible figures. You know, it's got that little flap opening right here. It's got the silhouette of the Justice League right there. You can see it's Dark Side Deluxe figure. It's a really really nice figure. Uh, the only problem with this is it's going to cost you a pretty penny. Uh, this figure uh, retails about seventy seventy two to eighty dollars. So. You know, it's it's up to you guys if you really want to spend the money on on this figure. I mean, if you're a dark side figure, then you know, go for it. It's a really big fi figure, and it looks like it's really nice. Um, to, if we look at the the packaging here, on the top it reads Justice League. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right here on the side, we got a nice little silhouette of Dark Side. That's pretty cool. Over here in the back, there's going to be a read up, so I'll go ahead and take care of that. It says, boom, straight out of the pages of DC Comics, a new 52 comes a brand new take on one of the Justice League's most powerful villains, Darkseid. The apocalyptic conqueror will crush all who oppose him. So that's the read-up on Darkseid. There's the other figures. And look at that, man. Some nice, nice picture there. I did a review on these guys a, a while ago. Uh, their name escapes me at the moment, but I did pick up a few of them. So when I display the dark side figure, I'm going to have them around his little uh, helpers here, if you will. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's that's the box. The box where box. Uh, this is the box. This is the look at the box. There you go, dude. Man, I got tongue tied. Um, the figure stands 13 inches tall. There's a nice picture of the figure there. Sculpted by Phil Ramirez. Very nice, man. This figure looks just looks like a beast. So let's take a quick break, and we're going to take the figure out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look at Darkseid. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so we have Darkseid out of the packaging. I wasn't able to give you, like, a full 360 look because he didn't... Um, he had too much weight on that little uh, uh, turntable I had, and he just stopped it, so he didn't really... Um, uh, allow it to rotate so we'll get a quick top to bottom look at the figure I mean he is massive he is full of nice very nice detail he's got that rock uh, like skin texture they did a great job I mean even the teeth if you can take a look at the teeth I mean look at the detail and the paint they did on that and then the, the, the detail on the skin the texture even with the shoulder pads the arms this is just a really really Highly detailed and massive figure. So this is a this is the front view of Dark Side. If you look at the side view, you can see that there. Very nice. And then we take a look at the back view. Stands well on his own as well. No problems. Got a little paint problem there. Here's the other side. It's a very, very nice figure. Now I just gotta find something to lay my camera on so I can go over the articulation. Let's see what I can use. This is not gonna be sturdy enough. Bear with me, guys. You guys can enjoy the detailing on the figure. Or I might just have to turn the camera around and show you guys what he looks like. Oh, this will work. This will do it. Okay. So let's take a look at Dark Side here. Now, I'm going to go over the articulation on this guy really quick. I mean, this is my first time actually looking at the figure so it's going to be new to me as well the head can go up and down it can kind of tilt rotates uh, side to side man this is such a nice figure 
your shoulder pads kind of move. Yeah, they kind of move. Um, the arms do go in and out, forward and back. It's got a bend at the bicep. The uh, wrist can rotate. Can also go up and down. It's got rotation in the arm. Uh, nothing at the waist, obviously. Keep on moving the camera here. The legs go forward and back. Bend at the knee. I don't want to bend it too much because I've heard stories about these DC figures breaking and nothing in the feet. Like no feet articulation, but the lower leg does rotate. So that's the articulation on this massive uh, character. So he's got he's got some pretty pretty good articulation, and again he does stand um, he does stand uh, 13 inches tall. Now let me see if I can find something else to place my camera on. Well, that's all right. I'll just back all this stuff away, and then we'll get a close look, closer look at the figure here. So you guys can get a look, like a really good look at the detailing on this guy. I like this right here in the center. It looks really nice. But this is just a fantastic figure. The, the paint, uh, the paint scheme, the, de the, the detail on this guy. He is highly detailed. I think that's just one thing I really like about this figure is that he is just loaded with, uh, with a lot of detail. It's just a head sculpt is just what's very awesome about this figure. Very, very cool. You guys want a size comparison? I will com put him against Wonder Woman. So you guys can get a little size comparison here. There he is with Wonder Woman. So you can see he is quite a quite a beast compared to Wonder Woman. Too bad I don't have Titan Joker here. I'd do a little comparison with him as well. But uh this is just a great figure you guys. Definitely definitely worth picking up. Um again, he'll cost you between 70 to 80 dollars. In my opinion, he was he's worth it. So that's pretty much it guys. Um this is Seha Man and today we were taking a look at the DC collectibles, the new 52 this is Dark Side. Uh, he just came out, so I highly recommend that you guys pick up this figure. He is just loaded with detail. A fantastic figure. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my review, and uh, we'll see you guys later. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, uh, that he does come with this little instruction uh, uh, paper here in the uh, in the um, in the box. So the shoulder pads do come off. You can just pop them, pop them off of the. Uh, it looks like it's not peg there, so you can just pop them off. You guys see that there? So just so you guys know, the shoulder pads do come off. Nothing on the back. All right, guys. See you later.